Hello YouTubers and welcome to lesson 3 of the lessons on the PMDG 737NGX and in this lesson I will be plugging stuff into the uh, FMC, so the actual FMC setup. The previous lesson, lesson 2, was explaining what each page does. So if you don't know what I'm keying in or why I'm keying in it, go to the previous episode and that will explain why I'm keying it in. So firstly we're going to go to the position initialization page and we are going to, we are as Oslo Talk in Norway and that is Echo, November, Tanga, Oslo and gate number, I don't actually know what gate number in, we're at um, a foreign gate so I just put that into there and the IRS's have aligned because we selected the IRS's up here to nav in lesson one uh, route page, origin, Oslo, and we are going to Tenerife South, which is T T C T S, Gulf Charlie Tango Sierra, and oh, it's the throttles. Um, a journey of two thousand one hundred seventy-five miles, and approximate flight time of about. About uh, 3 hours and 40 minutes, I think it is. Our flight number, we'll just call it Flight Ryanair 1234. Um, our departure runway, so if we go to these, would be runway 36. Because it's just the most, it's the closest to us, so, and there's no wind, so we'll just depart from runway 36. Plug that into there. Then we can go to the route page, which is the next page. And actually, no, we could go to the departure arrivals page, departure Oslo, taking off from Roy 36, and our first waypoint is Vatit. So we could select any one of these, and Vatit is this one. So we will select that, and as you can see, it's come up on our navigation display. Depart from Roy 36, and then we'll make a left turn off towards there. For, these, for this routing I am using Ryanair Virtual, link in the description below for their website, very good virtual airline, um, they're looking for more pilots so please go ahead and um, sign up, they give you all the routes and times and stuff. Um, so now we are going to key in all the information, so if I bring this over, we are departing Oslo for runway contact ATC to Tenerife South, cost index of 6, flight level of 390, 39,000 feet, how many nautical miles, and this is our route, so we will plug this route in, so all the actual waypoints will be plugged in to the 2 column, and you'll, hear, you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute, and all the actual airways, the ones with letters and numbers, will go into the VIA um, column. So if we pull that over to there, and put and pause this. So our first VIA is Tango 551, and that will get put into there. Then we are going to, so VIA Tango 551, we are going to... A A L, L, basically. So we put in A A L to there, and then our next waypoint is November eight sixty six, and then to up gas, um, and then U N eight six six, and so on and so on. So I'll just skip the video here, and I will plug all these in, and I will get back to you when I have plugged all these in. We've got three pages of routes, and our last waypoint is combat. So now we've keyed in all our route, we're going to go to the departure arrivals page, Tenerife South arrivals, and we can choose from a number of different arrivals. We're going to go for the ILS runway 26. And as before, our last point, our last waypoint is combat. So we're going to look through here, and combat appears as a three hotel arrival. So we're going to click along that. Go back to our route page and double check the arrivals has been keyed in for us. We're going to go to the legs page now and just look through all the legs and ah, route discontinuity. 
you will inevitably get that in a root when you key a root in. The basic fix is get the one after it and just plug that in there and it should all be fine. So now we're going to go over to here, the small little panel here, and go. We're on map at the moment and we want plan. So we're going to go to the plan page and as we do that, a little step button has appeared here now. So we're just going to zoom out and that makes us step through every waypoint along our route. So as all these routes have been feeding for us, we're going to keep going until we get to arrivals. And there's our arrival into Tenerife, so that's Tenerife South Runway there. So that is how we check our route. There. And now we can go to, now we know all the routes fine, we can activate it and it will turn a purple, purpley pink colour. Now we can get rid of the navigation display. Now that is our um, route keyed in. Now it says insufficient fuel. Basically, we're going to run out of fuel before we get there. So, because earlier I just put in a random amount of fuel, so we're going to go for about two thirds. That should be plenty for our. For our so we've done initialization page, takeoff page. I've keyed this in all before. Flaps five. Center of gravity will change because we're at different weight now. So five three five is our trim. So we're going to select five three five on here or we'll thereabouts. There we go, 535. And V1 speed, QRH, quick reference handbook, has already done it for us. So our V1 speed, point of row return, is 140 knots. VR speed, rotate speed, is 142 knots. And V2, the safely climb speed, is 151 knots. And actually, it's appeared here as well. So it'll appear here on the speed indicator on the primary flight display. So that is it for plugging this page. Now if we click on the progress page and like before it said at every waypoint will appear so at Tenerife South we will that is the um, height of it so we can plug that into there to the nearest 50 feet here. So we want about so we want 2000 um, well, 2250 is the closest um, 50 feet to that, so there, for our landing altitude, we will arrive, if we depart now, we will arrive there at about 20 past 5 local time, so it's 12 o'clock now, we will arrive there at 20 past 5, so they're an hour ahead, so it will probably be, it's about 4 hour and 20 minute flight, and we will have 2.5 tonnes of fuel left over, so now we can go back to our reserves and put in 2.5 as our reserves. Um, legs page done, hold page. Now, say if we wanted to hold somewhere, let's say at where's Vatit. Say if we were to have a hold there, we go into the hold, put in teeth there, and now we are got a hold pattern there. So as we approach there, we will just continually hold at that waypoint. Um, for other holes and stuff I will go through in another episode just explaining how to get out of them as well. Um, for that now we can go to the fix page and we are at Echo, November, Tango, Oscar, Oslo, Reggae, Oslo, Talk and say if we wanted a fix of 10 miles we can put slash 10 in there and a ring will appear at 10 miles, so if we wanted 2.5 miles, 2.5 mile ring will appear. It's good It's good for um, knowing where you are, it's really good for that. So that's the fix page, and that is basically it for plugging in everything you want um, for the FMC. So I do hope you've enjoyed this lesson, please tune in for the next lesson uh, where I will be going through the MCP and all the autopilot settings before departure so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe